Hey guys, Diana here from Garden Love. I hope you guys all had a Merry Christmas and it, you guys had a good one. As you guys know, we just came back from Utah. I have uh, some videos coming up of our trip. I want to show you guys what we did while we were out there. It was my first time being there and I absolutely loved it. I can't wait to go back there. I want to try going there for the summer to experience some um, some other things that they have going on during the summer. But my mother came after Christmas and came to visit me. She cooked some of my favorite recipes, which some of them are the tamales. Uh, let's see, tinga, uh, rice pudding, and ponche. Those are like the most traditional, uh, I guess, meals that we make during the holidays. And I absolutely love them. If you guys are familiar with any of them, put them in the comments down below. Let me know. Um, which one's your favorite and who cooks it for you the best for, but my mother was nice enough to share the recipe for the tinga all my family members love her tinga they always ask her for the recipe but only she knows how to do it perfect I actually went to a restaurant in Utah I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram I posted that there was actually a restaurant that had tinga in the menu which was the first for me, I've never seen a restaurant with tinga. It was good, but it wasn't as good as my mom's, of course, not just because it's my mom, but it truly wasn't as good as my mom's. Uh, for those of you who don't know what a tinga is, it's basically shredded chicken or shredded beef. My mom made shredded beef two days ago, and today we made shredded chicken so you guys can see how to make it, so we can show you guys how to make it. And it's basically shredded chicken with um, onions, and some other goodies um, you can put sour cream at the bottom of the tostada or refried beans um, however you want to put it we made it very simple today we just did the tinga lettuce and cheese as you can see sometimes we might want to put some sour cream this one has sour cream and we also mm -hmm. can put some chili on top hi lily hi. say hi, hi. <laughs> and uh, it's delicious I just wanted to share this with you guys because I have this is like the number one thing that I love eating during the holidays and any time I can throughout the year that I requested for my mom to make. So I'm going to show you guys how to make this and uh, hopefully you guys can try it and if you do please leave it in the comments below. Let me know how it came out. Let me know if you like it. Let me know if you guys have heard of it in the past because it is delicious. Look at this. <sighs> Alright guys we're going to make some tinga as you guys have seen. However the tinga we're going to be making is going to be with chicken not beef. We ran out of beef. But here are the ingredients, a little teaspoon of salt, some chipotle cans, um, chipotle pepper can in a can, four onions, some um, Laura Bay leaves, which I took out of my garden. As you can see, I just rinsed them. <laughs> the two breasts, um, two pieces of breast of chicken, and some peppers that are called, ¿cómo se llama? Uh, These are wahiyo um, chilies. My mom's here with me helping me do the recipe. I haven't found anything that like my mom's, so that's why we want to share it with you guys. And we're going to use the blender, as you can see right here, and some other tools that I'm going to show you guys along as we go. Okay, let's get started. First thing we're going to do is put some water to boil, and then we're going to add some ingredients as soon as the water comes to a boil. All right guys, while well, the first pot of water is boiling for the chicken, we're gonna put another pot so we can get the chilies cooked. And uh, I'm gonna show you in a second. Meanwhile, this, these both pots are going with heat and getting them to a boil. All right guys, while well, the two pots of water are boiling, we are going to take the peppers out of these chilies and make sure that they're empty. That way we can get them cooked. The water seems to be getting to a boil, so we're gonna add the chilies that we took all the seeds out of. The water for the chicken is also boiling, so we're gonna go ahead and add that right now. First, we're gonna um, put in the Laura Bay leaves. Then we're gonna add a little bit of onion. Then we're going to put the chicken breasts in. And as you remember, a little bit of salt. And we're gonna let that cook. 
for a few minutes, maybe about 15 minutes. We'll have to check to see if the chicken's fully cooked. The next thing we're gonna do while the chicken and the chilies are being cooked in water, we're gonna cut the onions that we're gonna use for the tinga. As you can see here, that's what we're gonna do. We have a total of four and we're just gonna get to it. This is the way we are gonna cut them. That way we get little strips. Now that the water is coming to a boil with the chilies, um, you usually let it come to a boil for about a minute or two. Once that's done, you're gonna turn off the fire and let the chilies sit in the hot water so that way they can get soft and it'll be easier for you to blend them in the blender. All right, and that's what I'm going to do now. I am just gonna turn off the fire and let them sit there while I do the next step. And I'll show you guys the next step in just a second. Let's get to it. We're gonna get a pan going for the onions. We're gonna add a little bit of oil. It could be olive oil, avocado oil, whichever oil you prefer to cook with. We're gonna let the oil heat up a little bit and then start adding the onions. The onions do take a while to get cooked, so um, you can get that started at any point of your cooking. All right, make sure that you stir the onions every one to two minutes until it's the onions are fully cooked. You'll be able to see when they're fully cooked, when they're soft, and when you can kind of see through, through them, they'll get a see-through color. And just make sure that you keep stirring. The chicken's done, so now we're gonna turn off the fire and pull it out so we can start shredding it. stirring the onion for maybe about 20 minutes it's gotten to the point where the onion you can see through it it's soft it's fully cooked and now we feel confident enough to add the chicken and that's what we're gonna do now As you can see, we're gonna stir it all together. At this point, we're gonna let it cook for a little bit and we're going to lower the flame. That way it's kind of just staying warm and not necessarily cooking anymore. And while that's warming up, I'm going to prepare the chili and I'm gonna show you how to do that now. 
All right, guys, at this point, we're gonna go ahead and add our chipotle chili from the can to prepare it. And it's up to you how much of this chili you're going to put because this could get spicy. So if you don't want it that spicy, you're just gonna add a little bit for flavor. If you want it a little bit spicy, then you add more so it could be spicy and have flavor. So my mom's gonna show you guys how to do it. We're gonna do three of these chilies that are in here. All right. So she's gonna put three chilies in here and some of the sauce. If you guys cannot handle any spicy, I would suggest just put one of these chilies and just for flavor. We left a little bit of the water inside the chilies that we cooked and we pour it all in there together. So as you can see, we blended it and it's completely mixed together. Now let's go do the next step. All right, to avoid having chunks of chili, this is what we're gonna do, just get a strainer and pour it in. All right guys, now that we mixed everything together, we're gonna let it sit in the low fire for about 15 minutes, and then we're gonna give it a try to see if it's fully cooked and ready to go. 